Hi all, Fat Andy, eh? Right, um, one of my followers, uh, Tony, I think his name, has asked me if I'd do a review um, on Jester's uh, re or Restaurant Caf, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, uh, go get a breakfast, see what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, let's get going. Right, let's go see St Peter's Court there. Big old tower block, that's coming down, they're going to demolish that, you know, um, they're getting people out of it, and uh, that's got that old, uh, I think that's, they said that, that bloody old film, what, that Glenfield Tower had in it or something, so, uh, yeah, they're going to get that, that's going to be coming down next year, I think that's been up there since the 60s, and that used to be a lovely place, but uh, it's gone to ruin now, to be quite honest, um, too many uh, low lobes occupied, I think. And that, they reckon that's full of, full of drug dealers on the top floor. But, you know, that's how lobes gone. But yeah, that's coming down. So, uh, be next year sometime, they're gonna build some housing, low level housing or something around there. So, uh, yeah. Right, let's get on and uh, get up to Jester's. Glorious day today, sun shining again. Can't knock it really at the end of the day. Make time we got some nice weather. All this uh, all this rain and everything we had. Not good at all. You look to the left of the camera, you just see the tips there, the Gullwing Bridge in the background. That's uh, the new bridge. Um, What's gone in? That's the biggest, supposed to be the biggest span bridge in the world, apparently, from what they say. So I don't know. Cost about 150 odd million to put in. It ain't opened yet. Um, still, still running tests on it. So um, don't know how long that's going to be. Another month or so, I suppose. But yeah, um, much needed third crossing been on the plans for actually years and long stuff years and years and years that has so this is the start of it hair starting to lift and that goes right over the river take it from north to south side so uh yeah that'll be good good when it's opened up take some uh take some relief off uh, the old bridge in the town center you can just see it there, the two tips, like the old gold wing. So, uh, yeah, roll on when they get it opened up. Little's there just on the roundabout. And, uh, coming up here now. Better times uh, here on the left. Sorry about the flicker of lights on that. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for the big boy breakfast, twelve pound fifty. Um, and here it is. As you can see there, mushrooms, two eggs, a couple of bacon, a couple of sausages. Um, it's got a pot or skillet they call it, of beans. Um, and uh, you got your tin tomatoes as well. A nice piece of crunchy toast with butter. Um, yeah, that was lovely. That toast. Really, really nice and crunchy. Mm. Uh, beans tipped out on the plate. Um, 
yeah, sausages. Um, now, we did recommend these. These, these were really, really nice. Um, nice, firm sausage. Um, not mushy at all. Um, I would say they're a good, well, to me, they taste like a good uh, butcher sausage. Uh, very, very nice indeed they were. Um, yeah, can't, can't knock them at all. Even give it the thumbs up, look. Not bad at all. There, yeah, they, they weren't bad at all. It's been some tomatoes and that, the egg, like that look. Just don't want like that egg. Um, nice and runny in the middle, um, not too hard. Still, that toast, I something about that it was nice. That was especially when you dip it in the old egg in there. Can't knock that one little eye over. come with the bacon um yeah that, that you know a bad flavor the bacon but i think in my opinion this is my opinion that's just a little bit undercooked um i really really think that this bacon um could have been cooked a little bit more um just just another couple of minutes when it's done in the pan give it a bit of color um you can sort of definitely definitely tell they hadn't been in the pan that long but um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the taste was good. Um, to be fair, I, I can't knock that at all, really. Um, just just needed another couple of minutes, basically. Um, but yeah, we get sausages. <laughs> but I didn't have extra sausages. Mushrooms are okay, can't knock them. Um, tasty. As I say, should have been sauteed potatoes on this as well. Um, I ended up basically uh, get an extra egg because normally with this breakfast you'll get two sausage, two bacon, one egg, um, tomatoes, mushrooms and beans and I didn't want the salty potatoes so I thought right so I asked for um, an extra egg. Um, see that I've sort of gone through it now and demolished boost of it. Um, but yeah I've been mean, 12 and a half quid. Well um, a little bit a little bit overpriced for what it was. I mean, a tenner I would have thought would have been more in line. It's still expensive in my book um, for a breakfast, but then again, you know, I suppose that is what it is at, at, um, at the end of the day. Yeah. Because you've got to mop the old juice up, haven't you? Definitely got to be done. Get all that, all that bean juice up. Can't waste it. Costs too much. <laughs> right, just finish it up there. The last, last bit of toast. Get the rest of the bean juice mopped up, and um, here's what it looked like upstairs. The layout, so nice and clean. And that I can't knock that for cleanliness and I said uh, the friendly staff right right just had uh, Jester's breakfast I'm gonna go home because I've got a takeaway menu, menu scan over because that'll be a little bit easier with that and uh, we'll sum it up when I get back home right we're back home this is where I've just been it's uh, Jester's diner uh, which is on the Normanson Park in Lowestoft um, a website there um we don't serve fast food just great food fast and they do deliveries as well right this is like a, a takeaway menu as well um, exactly the same as they do 
um, in the restaurant. I, um, the lights were flickering a bit in there. I do apologise for that. Um, yeah, um, should you prefer a more traditional butcher style sausage, you can swap to a four ounce Hudson's sausage for an extra two pound per sausage. Now I thought the sausage were quite nice actually, but look, that's twelve pound fifty. Um, that's what I had that one there, the big boy breakfast. Um, I they you should have got sauté potatoes with it. I did swap mine. Um, I will say for an extra egg. Um, I just didn't fancy the sauté potatoes. It was just me. Um, so in an extra egg instead with it. Um, yeah, they do another one there called Fat Boy, seventeen and a half quid. Um, yeah, that's that's the sort of stuff they do anyway. On there, that's that's absolutely loads of your sandwiches. Um, you got starters there, racks of ribs. So it's not just a place for breakfast. That's um, a place where you can have like main courses and everything else. Um, see there, they do wraps, uh, sexy salads, whatever they are. Uh, jacket potatoes. Uh, that's all your grills. They do. You can see there. Um, traditional, uh, roost and traditional as well. Um, roost beef below it, 11 and a half quid. Um, yeah, uh, full house roost, 16 and a half. <sighs> got, got the lot there, really. Do burgers, it's all your burger prices on there and everything. Yeah, so it's quite an array of stuff there. And obviously, they have a dessert menu as well. You get milkshakes, bottles of wine there, whatever you, whatever you want, really. Um, yeah, it's a nice set. It's not too bad at all, really. Um, yeah, so that's the menus. Right. Right, so let's sum this up. I'm going to voice over um, when I was in the restaurant. So there was a little bit of music playing. Not, nothing too loud at all, but it was in the background. So uh, I'll put it on site. I will voice over on it. Um, yeah, let's start with, um, well, I don't know. Let's start with sausages, first of all. I thought the sausages were very, very nice. Um, I would, for flavour and everything, I'd give them sausages a 10 um, on that plate. They, they, they were nice. Uh, the bacon, I the bacon was nice, but I felt that was underdone. I could have done with that a little bit more cooked than that. That was... Um, well, I always say squealing on the plate, as people would say. Cause that's a uh, um, bit of a, you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, um, that's, that's not right. No, that that could have been done with doing a little bit more. Bacon, I'd give um, probably, uh, flavour was there, all right. Yeah, that weren't too bad at all. I'd give them about an 8 out of 10, the bacon, on there. The eggs are nice. Um, yeah, I cooked how I like them. Yeah, can't knock them at all. Um, again, I'll, I'll go 10 with the eggs. Um, beans, uh, they, yeah, they were nice. Uh, they were soft, they weren't hard or nothing like that. But I thought I lacked, lacked that depth of flavour a bit, you know. They weren't branched, well, not as far as I know anyway. It didn't taste like that. They didn't have that nice, real dark sauce flavour. I'd do a seven on the beans. Um, the tomatoes, uh, tin tomatoes, well, they're tin tomatoes, isn't they? Yeah, they weren't bad. Um, a little bit, nice bit of flavour in them. Um, do an eight on that for the tomatoes. The toast, lovely and crunchy bit of toast. Yeah, I can't knock out. I can't give a toast a ten. I, I always do like a nice bit of toast. And mushrooms, yeah, I'll give them, they weren't too bad. I'll give them about an eight out of ten as well. The tea was nice. Uh, you get that with it. Um, yeah, so all in all, I reckon I'd score that for a breakfast about an 8 out of 10. That's my opinion. Um, yeah, I've had loads better, but I've had a loads worse. I said, will that put you off? £12.50? Uh, I think that's a bit steep myself. I do. I mean, I'll get, probably get a lot of comments on it. Oh, bloody hell, we pay more on that day in London than places like that. Um, I would have said, I mean, I would have been more than happy for a tenner. Round it off to a tenner, cup of tea, slung in, 
yeah, I reckon that's a fair price I do for a breakfast nowadays setting in. But hey, you know, that's what it is. It is what it is at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, would I go back and have a breakfast again there? Um, my honest opinion um, is probably no. I would go back and try something else at some stage. Uh, maybe a grill or something. Um, and have a go with it. Um, be several months down the line if I do. But don't let that put you off. If you're in the area, give it a try. I mean, you know. Um, or, or if you live in the area or you're on holiday down there. That's uh, just as um, diner. And that's situated uh, on the edge there in Normanston Park in Lowestoft. But yeah, all in all, 8 out of 10. Um, <clears throat> that's all I can say, really. So uh, I just say again, apologies for them lights flickering and everything. You know, it's beyond my control. It was a camera picking them up. I could see it on the screen, you know, and I thought, well, there's nothing I can do about it, really. But yeah, um, yeah as I say, comments below. What's your take on it? Um, a thumbs up if you like it, obviously. Um, and uh, if you didn't subscribe yet, please consider doing so. And I'll catch you lovely people in the next one. Oh, by the way, I did spill some baked beans down the old shirt. Anyway, I've got to go. I've got to go do some work now. Work gets off. Catch you lovely good people in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.